What's up everybody? It's your boy the noob. You know, when you're growing up, there are millions of things you want to be as a kid. An artist, an astronaut, a race car driver, a cook, you know, an adventurer, something, anything you want. But unfortunately, society has its way of telling you, no, you will not be that. Be it your parents, your teachers, and you know, life itself. But the thing that a lot of people don't realize is, that same thing happens also in fantasy stories. And today I want to talk to you about a manga that has just that. Someone who was told that he can't be what he wants to be, and he basically said, I'm gonna go do it. The title of this manga is called, Is It Odd That I Became An Adventurer Even If I Graduated The Witchcraft Institute? Now, your main character in this story is a person by the name of William Glenford. He is a mage. He studied at the Witchcraft Institute and graduated. Now, from a very young age, he's always had this dream. He's always been reading books and he's always decided, I want to be an adventurer. But, being that ever since he's been young, he's had very high attitudes for magic, he's always been very smart, people have told him straight out, oh, you're too young, you'll work out of that, you're gonna be a great mage. Well, several years after graduating to the Institute, he is getting ready, he's about to leave, and they're, he, they're like, what do you want to be? And he's like, I'm going to go be an adventurer. And they're like, no, 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 you cannot be that. You could be a great court mage, you could be the professor here, you could be anything you want. Why would you want to be a lowly adventurer? And he basically leaves the school going, hey, if this is going to ruin your reputation, just tell him I graduated and I didn't decide what I wanted to do. And he goes and he becomes an adventurer. Like I said, he is uber powerful and all that because he's really, really smart in magic. But as all adventures start in any story you've ever heard, they start at the lowest rank, which is F. Well, sometimes it's E, this time it's F. And he's deciding that I want to be an adventurer, so let me go look at the board. Let me go see what's on there. Let me see what I can do at my current rank to prove I'm a good adventurer. This is where he gets to meet his party. The party that he will join up with that will involve his adventures. The first person he meets is this little beast man girl who goes by the name of Me. Now, she is small, tiny, fuzzy to the point where without noticing he has his urge to reach out and pet her and she is of the thief class and quite frankly I like the design of hers she's got hands but she's also got paws over them which is kind of neat that's something I haven't seen in a lot of mangas well she says hey you're an F rank and we're F ranks too we're all looking to be a party because a parties apparently have to be a minimum of four so she's like hey I got two other people with me I got a warrior and I got a priest why not come join our group and he's like you know what okay I'll do this I can do that so she takes him along and she meets up with the other two of her party now the other two are also females as well the first one is Saki she is a female samurai which apparently is a class that's not very well known in this adventure world but luckily William has already known about these ones because he's well read and heard about it now she is very samurai-ish. She does not like to do sneak attacks. She's very uber strong. She uses aura to overpower things. So she's very tough. She is definitely the warrior class. But then comes the priest. Now this is Cyrilli. She is a female priest. She is very lovely, but she's also very by the book. She's very smart, intelligent. Like if Mia is the uh, one that uh, is all about instincts, and Saki is the one about, uh, you know, overpowering. Cyrilli is the one who is all about the brain. She is smart, she can deal with the undead, she can do all those kinds of things. She's the healer. Four of them decide to team up and go after an orc quest. Basically, go out, slay a bunch of orcs in a cave, yada, yada, yada. Now, at first they think, you know, he's a low rank mage, magic user. And they're like, okay, well, we're gonna be doing this, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, okay, let me, uh, I could do cast uh, sleep real quick and get rid of them. And as he's about to cast it, um, the priest yanks him back and it actually shoots off the magic behind him. What they don't realize of how powerful he is, not only does he knock their asses out, but a cart that's like miles away and the town that they just left. When they finally come to, they're still a little odd because they're trying to figure out what the hell happened, but they decide to go do this. You know, they make a plans, all that. And he basically, he goes in and he puts in the sleep. And they were able to attack the, the first body guard arcs. Okay, good. Normal, normal, normal. But then he casts his sleep again and he knocks out a whole bunch of them in there. And now they're getting a little questionable. And then he does it for another time and they're like, whoa, 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 this ain't right, this ain't right. Sleep is supposed to have a 10% chance of working and somehow you are knocking everybody out. It's at this point that the priest realizes you're not a magic user, 
you are a higher ranked one. And he goes, well, yes. I graduated from the Witchcraft Institute, and I'm technically of level of wizard. Now, if you don't know, apparently they got magic users, mage, and way, way, way up there is l wizard class. So he is OP as fuck. And of course, they ask the obvious questions. What the fuck are you doing as an adventure? You can be anything you want. Why are you here? And he goes, it's what I've always wanted to do. So they team up and keep working. Now, I got to tell you, the adventures of these stories is just... First of all, the, the trio of girls learning to deal with this OP character who's kind of a blockhead because when he tries to crack jokes, they're kind of like deadpan. And him learning how to interact with people. Now, I know some of you out there are probably thinking, oh, a bunch of girls, it's going to be a harem. Now, this guy is denser than fuck. He's not even caring about them. In fact, none of them are really kind of caring about him. Mia might have a little bit because when he compliments her, she gets really embarrassed. So that's the only one. No, no, the girl that might that is definitely interested in him that could form into a romance is a girl that comes on later on, which is apparently a princess. Yes, your boy William has connections to the royal family. So much so that when he meets up with the king when they want to go explain something, the king is treating him like nobody's business. He's giving him pats on the back. He's calling him out his name, telling him how he looks. He's like treating him like family. And that's because um, William's dad is the royal court mage of the kingdom. So he has grown up with the family. And in fact, the princess has grown up with him as not only his childhood friend, but someone who really cares for him. Her name is Princess Elaine Gleerod. Now, like I said, she is the childhood friend. She's kind of grown up with the knight mentality. So much so that she is uber powered and she can actually take out Saki in a mock battle. Every time that they... Uh, because they become friends, the, the groups and the princess, and Saki's always trying to, you know, fight, fight, fight to win against her, and Elena just, you know, kicks her ass and goes, hey, hey, come on next time. And, you know, she's a really good girl. And in fact, the trio of girls come to realize that the princess likes William to the point where they start teasing her later. You know, not really letting William in on it, but you like sneaking little jabs like, so, if we're doing this adventure, you can get close. And just making the princess blush as hell. This story is all about adventures and the wizard who wanted to be adventure, who is OP, but still just trying to be a regular adventure. Now, and I love this story because it is so comedically funny. Yes, you've got the adventurous battles, you're fighting orcs, you're meeting elves, you're taking on zombies, you're taking on possessions, but you have this wizard who, with a flick of wrist, you know, can cast everyone to a sleep, see through walls, you know make zombies disappear with massive firestorms, and so far and so much more. It is perfect because it takes that overpowered trope, but does it in such a comedic way that it's just enjoyable to watch. Not only the reactions that you get, but the reactions that the ladies give when he does something stupid. It is just a fun read. Well, folks, that's the manga I wanted to share with you this evening. I hope it's something that you might pick up. Let me know in the comments below if you want more stories like this. If there's a manga that you think sounds like this and you want me to read it, put it in the comments below. I will check it out later. Until next time, folks, enjoy your manga. See ya!